Hello, one and all. This is one of my tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When we last left off, we had just bought the lesser ring of power. Not the ring of power, not the greater ring of power, just the lesser ring of power. Gives us regeneration and resistance to most of your basic elements. Doesn't really give us a poison resistance, which is typically what you associate with earth, but the three that it gives us will do. And that cost us most of our gold. Other than that, we sold the items we needed to sell. We bought the items we wanted to buy. Mainly just the one, because that's all we could really afford. Now we need to go talk to Arabeth and let her know about the latest attempt to kill us. And from there, it's going back into the woods. But, Arabeth first. Back into the barracks. Let's talk to Arabeth. It is of vital importance that you complete Lord Nash's mission. Much depends on discovering what else Desta's allies have planned. Indeed. Have you yet discovered any new information on the cult? I have located some information about the cult. This is good news. What have you discovered? I'll show her the letter to Neva. 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 I don't know which it is. This Mogram grows desperate, I see. They fear you, and well they should. Indeed. While this information you bring is incredibly valuable, it still does not tell us where the cult is based. We need that information if we are to strike at them. Fortunately, it does mention where more cultists may be found. Charwood and the Neverwinter Woods. Search those places, perhaps, for the information we seek. I have, have been. Have you found any other information? Nothing else. Then I wish you luck. Actually, while I'm in here, I want to go talk to this guy, Kendrak. Because I believe he had an inventory. Uh, something I can do for you. Has he a business with the guild? I suppose not. Thought he did. Was just worth looking at. And it's time to go. Alright, I can't remember exactly how to get back to where we were last. So what we'll do, first we gotta turn on our map so I don't get horribly lost. We'll go back down this way, because I I think we came in this way, and we'll just follow it until we get to an area that I haven't been to before. I don't remember what the last way I came in was. I'm going the opposite way of the exit. Apparently I have been tagged. I have been tagged twice! I wish I had something more entertaining to say during those loading screens. <laughs> There's been a few of them already this video. We'll have plenty to discuss once we actually get to an area worth discussing. I don't think we've been into Charwood. Or have we? Did I take this way? I don't remember. Well, we're going into it now. I think this actually leads to where the uh, farmers were. I think. Yeah, that's here. I haven't been further down the road. So further down the road we shall go. And hopefully not die. Hopefully. There's a bush. I've looted everything else here. I'm not looting the bush because I'm tired of picking up those berries for seemingly no point. I'm still fairly sure they're for the good berries spell. Which I can't cast. 
We are now in the haunted forest, as it's calling it. We don't know that it's haunted, but the game just told us that it's haunted, so we know now. Let's save while we're in here. And be careful, because there could be spooky, spooky things. Like Alips and Wrath. Wraith. Sorry, not Wrath. Wrath. I don't remember what an Alip is. Apparently it's a ghosty thing. And the Wraith has an aura, probably a fear aura. Theoretically, my companions, uh, namely the Badger and Elaine, cannot hurt these creatures. Theoretically. As they should be immune to everything except magic damage, meaning uh, Elaine couldn't possibly hurt them without the use of Magic Fang, and the Dire Badger couldn't hurt them at all. Whether or not that is actually true, I can't tell. I don't know what those numbers were coming up for, whether or not it was them or it was... Ah! You have been ambushed by a skeleton warrior. This one they should be able to damage. Hit Lane you pretty hard there when it hit. And it just crit her. Lin Yu, please help the foresight to heal yourself. Come on, Lin Yu. Lin Yu, you are literally near death. I wish I had a command to tell you to heal yourself. Hmm. Kill me. I could still tell her to heal me. All right, dear. I I'm toggle her spell casting, but it still doesn't tell me if that's toggling it on or off. Um. I can't make her cast spells. I wish I could. Gosh darn it. She's gonna make me use an inventory item to heal her. Or rest. She's a freaking cleric and she won't heal herself. She's at 19 out of 77 hit points. What kind of cleric looks at himself and says, Eh, I'm okay. Felt worse. At 19 out of 77 hit points. Fine, we'll rest. Stupid half-elf. That's kind of way more frustrating to me than it has any right to be. She refuses to heal herself. Alright, let's explore over here so we can get credit for searching it. Not crossing any bridges until I have to. I figured that was going to summon a skeleton. That pile of bones there. So now we know what the skeleton warrior spawn points look like. Said skeleton warriors do not drop any loot, for the record. That sword that they're carrying fades with them into nothing. Alright, now let's go the other way. Another Alep has appeared. And another Wraith, too. Whether they just wandered into the area or they showed up after I rest, who can say? It is a fear aura, and it worked on the badger, who is now too afraid to help us. It makes sense that the badger would fail it more than any of us do. He would have the lowest save. The badger is by far the weakest member of this team at this point. Probably always has been, but he provides an invaluable distraction. 
and occasionally some chip damage. And the lane is now running. And I'm just missing all over the place. And I don't think my companions can hurt this thing. Or maybe they could. I don't know who that one point of damage came from. Oh, that one was a lane. Maybe they can hurt it. Which doesn't really make any sense because I believe race are incorporeal, so they can only be hurt by magic weapons. And Elaine should not qualify as having magic weapons. Maybe just one of the little quirks that this game does. I saw it. I'll ignore it for now. One of the little quirks that this game gives to Rangers. Everybody got an attack opportunity there, and it's dead. And the Badger sees combat! Including an addict that I can no longer see. Now oh, I can see it. The Allop is gone. Now I need to wait for combat to fall out, and I can start searching this stuff. Ooh, we have a trapped one there. See if I can get this open, and I can. 49 gold. Just a second. Seems I like to make a habit out of sneezing when I play in Everwinter Nights. 117 gold in that coffin. Don't mind if I do. Jericho has no problem looting the dead. Alright, in here is an old scroll. This weathered scroll is severely time-worn and covered with almost indescribable indes Decipherable runes. I'm sorry, I said indecipherable wrong. There is a handwritten translation across the bottom, showing this to be some manner of religious text written by a Nether East priest. Part of the translation of, is a particular note. The lands of Nether will one day return to the destiny of which they were born. Its people shall rise up from their ancient graves and rule over all those who have come after them. Rule all those who have come after them. Nether shall rule are all highlighted there. Here's get the six. Don't want any of that other stuff. Let's remember Nether shall rule. Probably gonna be a puzzle to something. Anything else over here? We're just heading towards the bridge, I suspect. Well, no, there's a way across this way. Theoretically, those creatures could just float over to us, but I doubt they're programmed to have that much freedom. Another Allop and another Wraith. Apparently, they're just buddy buddies. They can just level drain the badger. Goddess, take you now. Forgot they can do that. That theoretically shouldn't really work on my companions. Not in this video, man. It can work on me. Goddess, take you now. I believe she just cast Restoration on the Badger. That was Bless. Or possibly Turn. I think they have the same animation in this game. Alright everyone, stop running off. Let's go this way. Uh oh! Few Skeleton Warriors! That's not good. Get rid of these quickly. Oh no, the badger!
I think that was turned and it didn't work. I could probably read the text box and actually see what it says, but that's too much effort. The pile of skulls contains a longbow plus one. I shan't turn down free money, I suppose. Somebody's little thing they had set up here. And eight gold in the locked chest. I'm probably going to lose a lane soon, so I will just pick a nice little spot to rest and then do so. Over here seems about as good as anywhere. At least that way I can summon the badger back as well. It's good that I'm able to get more and more of these chests open now. But I'm not going to stop dumping points into that skill. Got a badger summoned. We can save. Save is 85. Everybody's all healed up, man. Let's keep going. Getting pretty dark. And I no longer have my ring of sight. Or rather, my ring of light. There's an exit there that leads to Charwood Village. A big spooky construct. And some barrels containing more gold than the lock chest, more gold than the previous lock chest, the last one had eight, and more gold than the lock chest. We haven't counted more than nine gold in the lock chest before. We have a potion of cat's grace and an explorer's journal. Though the book has been severely damaged by exposure to the elements, large parts of it are surprisingly legible including in it pages about translations of the runic language used by the ancient netherese. The remainder seems to be the personal journal of an unnamed explorer who had come to the region determined to find an ancient netherese temple, which he referred to as the Ruin of Gur Atoll. The last page is of particular interest and reads, I've decided to camp in the forest tonight. Whatever has happened in Charwood, it's something that I certainly don't want to get involved in. The villagers there are frightened and will be no help in my search for the temple. It's best I just avoid them entirely. Resting in the forest will not be much better, however, to think I scoffed at the tales I was told of it being haunted. It is so eerily silent, yet I will not be deterred. The secret portal that leads into the ruins of Girl Atoll must be in the area, and I will find it. If I am right, the treasure that will still be there will make all of these long months worthwhile. We'll take the book. Then we'll save and touch the pillar. This pillar is weathered with age and covered with moss and small vines. There is no telling how long it has been standing here. Of particular interest are the large runes that seem to cover most of its surface, in no language you recognize. With the help in the notes of the Explorer's Journal, you identify the runes as ancient netherese and piece together a rough translation. The runes have been placed on depressions, three rows of four runes. Pressing one rune in each row results in a three-word netherese phrase, the effect of which is unknown. Do you wish to press a rune in the first row? Well, we did tell ourselves to remember that combination. Let's try nether shall rule. As you press the last room, the pillar begins to hum. And made a portal. And we didn't loot this corpse. They had 15 non-magical bullets. We could go that way. But let's go over here first. Just to make sure the area is pretty clean. Seems pretty clean. All right. Let's step on the portal then. What could go wrong? Aside from everything and my companions not being able to reach me. We have a door here. It's not locked. It leads to some crypt. Don't worry. They'll follow me in here once I teleport into a new area. Or enter a new area.
We are surrounded by skeletons. Well, I hate to end on the cliffhanger, but we are past our 20 minute mark, so I will see you all later. This is Wonder Mutaku signing off. Take care, bye bye, and have a good one.